This is not the usual way science research is presented, but when it comes to black holes, it's a passion, not just a job, for this choir of astrophysicists. Black holes are just really cool, like we don't really know what they are. Black holes are a way of understanding the fundamental way the universe works. Black holes are both remarkably simple and yet terrifying. For the first time, our picture of the universe has um, not only uh, a movie, but a movie with sound. It's not just images these days. Astronomers can listen to the universe. The very first sounds they heard were picked up a couple of years ago by the massive LIGO detector in the United States. It heard the sound of two black holes circling, then merging. A Nobel Prize was awarded for the finding. Now, Australian scientists have gone further, finding a way to listen to the sounds of zillions of black holes colliding right across the universe. Of course, it won't change your life, but it's a huge breakthrough for understanding the cosmos. Look, it gives us a taste of the universe at its most extreme. It's when you've sort of set the laws of physics to stun. And to a physicist, that's an exciting place to probe it and test whether Einstein was right or not. The place to see colliding black holes is Swinburne University's Virtual Reality Lab in Melbourne. So if you want to see what this looks like, on your goals. Okay. Enter another world. Mm. The world of the black hole. Of curved space time. Oh, look at that. Two black holes are orbiting. You can see their gravity so immense, it's bending light itself. And so, with time, these circling black holes are unstable. That forces the black holes closer together, and then they absorb each other into a big black hole because of the colossal gravity forces. As the black holes get closer, they give off rhythmical ripples, gravitational waves. And it's, the gravitational waves are basically, the black holes are so vigorous, they're shaking the fabric of space-time itself. Yeah, that's a very good description of it. The gravitational waves are detected and converted to sound waves. And this is what you hear. Now, that latest discovery. Astrophysicists think they'll be able to actually listen to the background noise of black holes colliding all over the universe. So instead of just listening to one, instead of just having like the main attraction, we want to listen to um, everything that's happening. Every three minutes, somewhere in space, a black hole is ramming another one. And no one thought the LIGO detector would ever be able to pick up this faint background clatter. To hear it requires a supercomputer like this one, capable of doing one million billion calculations every second. So supercomputers have got so powerful these days, the fans to cool them are this noisy. Yeah, you need these things, otherwise you can't yeah. hear what you're saying. Yeah. That's a bit better. That's better. So why do you need a supercomputer? This is a mighty powerful looking thing to process the data for this? Yeah, the complexity of their calculations and the volume of the data we need to get through really only make this it possible to discover things with a supercomputer. The calculation will shed light on black holes from the beginning of time. We're not just seeing the black holes in our immediate uh, neighbourhood. We're seeing black holes from the very early ages of the universe when stars were just being made. By reaching into the past like this, researchers hope to advance our understanding of the universe in the present.